Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Litany Crafts. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make Dollar Tree gnomes using socks, rice, and I did purchase this yarn from Walmart for I think $2.98, is to get a cup and fill it with rice. And it's just kind of a guesstimate. I really can't tell you how much. All right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the sock, put it over the cup, and then just flip it over. And that's the easiest way there really is to getting the rice in the sock. up to you if the sock is full enough to your liking or what you prefer. So I think I'm going to put a little bit more rice. And then there's still room for me to stretch the sock. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a rubber band and I'm just going to tie the sock off. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm losing a little bit of rice, but that's all right. Next step to making the gnome is you're gonna to wanna to pick where you wanna put the nose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right here because um, that's where a lot of gray is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pinch it. Actually, I'm gonna get a rubber band. And you kinda of want a smaller rubber band. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play around with getting the perfect nose. So once I think I got it, I'm just gonna tie it off. The the sock is always gonna be have to be shaped back to how you want it. So really the next step is getting the gnome its hat. So I'm gonna make this the the um basically the guy gnome or the male gnome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to kind of cut off half of the um the uh, knee-high sock. And I'm just gonna stretch it over. You have to decide. So the, the hat is not going to stay up without something in it. So you either put rice, kind of up to you. So that actually I might finish at the end. I'll hot glue it and then put the rice in to kind of fill the hat up. But what we're gonna do now is we're going to get the beard going. So I'm going to make, like I said, I'm going to make this the male gnome. So what I need to do is I'm going to give him a beard. I'm just going to kind of, kind of guess of how long, and it's going to be different for every, you know, gnome. So I'm going to go about there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to get a whole bunch. I'm going to kind of go back on the length. And once I think that I have enough to make the beard, I'm just going to tie it off. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut them. 
so they're not looped. And then I'm going to cut that again to make sure that they're the same size. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to unravel the yarn to get it to kind of look like a curly beard. Alright guys, and that is it for today's tutorial. Very, very simple. Um, these are actually two previous ones I made. So again, this is just kind of all to your own creativity and what you want to do. Like on the tops of these hats, I tied them off. And then these ones, I did a little something different. Um, I, do, I did the beards two different ways. Um, I showed you the way. But the way I actually like this beard, or I actually prefer to do the beard this way, is I just got the yarn, cut them in strips, and then tied them in the middle and cinched them off and then went from there to make the beard, if that makes any sense. The gnomes are very easy, very similar. So basically I'll walk you through what I did. Again, I just pinched the nose like I did for this guy. Put the hat on. I didn't need to do any rice at the top. And then I just cut, I cut six pieces of yarn and then I braid them tie them and then unravel them and then even them out and that's all I did. On the top of this one I hot glued the hat down, put rice in the top to kind of fill it out. Um, so yeah again just very simple. I, I, I did each set of gnomes differently and I like the both. I like how they all turned out and I think they each have their own um, uniqueness is what I like about them. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and be sure to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.